Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I wanted to go over this really cool coil-loaded vertical whip antenna that I am going to use with my Zygu X6100. So my idea for this video actually came from QRP Monkey, uh, who listed some files on Thingiverse for this really cool loaded uh, vertical antenna. He made it out of some uh, you know, T50-6 toroids and a uh, little cheap FM AM vertical whip that you can get on Amazon for just a few bucks. I used a different toroid. I actually used an FT50-43. I have a bunch of these left over for some other projects. And so one advantage of using this is A, it was cheap. I had it, and B, I could use fewer turns uh, to get to the same um, number of microhenries that I needed for uh, this to work properly. Now, unfortunately for me, this didn't actually work out that well, uh, at least for how I did it. Um, I couldn't get the SWR below about three to one, uh, even with a slightly longer counterpoise and messing with the whip. Um, so I decided to switch tactics and get rid of the toroid altogether and actually just use an air wound coil. Uh, I just wrapped magnet wire around the 3D printed base of the antenna. Um, I used another calculator, so I did about 33 wraps or 36 wraps, I think. Uh, just took some of the insulation off with a knife at the end, wrapped it around the uh, bolt holding the antenna onto the body and uh, gave that a shot. So between changing out the coil and um, also extending the length of the counterpoise, which I know is really important for tuning vertical sometimes. Um, I extended it total to probably about a length of 10 feet of really thin uh, silicon coated, uh, I think it's magnet wire actually. Um, between that and actually extending and uh, collapsing the whip, I'm able to get down to almost one to one. And as far as a uh, first try goes, uh, here is the final result, which I think personally looks pretty great. Um, it's very light. It's uh, about two pounds with the antenna, the X6100, and my external microphone. Let's see if we can't make some contacts. Well, India 5, India, Juliet Bravo, QRP. Kilo India 5, India Juliet Bravo QRP. Where are these getting decodes? Pretty cool. I'm trying to make a contact right now. Let's see if that works out. But the fact that it's all on this tiny little antenna, this counterpoise down to the ground is pretty cool. I'll take it. So it's conclusion time. Uh, overall, this was a really fun build. Pretty quick and dirty. Uh, not a lot of testing went into it <laughs> not a lot of build time didn't have a whole lot of time uh, over the last week or so to, to, to put into this project but uh, it was definitely a lot of fun uh, very glad i did it uh, big thanks to qrp monkey for making this design in the first place and making it open source which uh, we always appreciate and uh, we can just make our own as as makers as hams um, as enthusiasts which is really great so thanks to him um, check out his channel if you haven't a lot of great stuff there uh, so overall, um, I think this, is, this antenna was a success. Uh, you know, I am operating with five watts, so QRP, I'm operating with a very compromised antenna, um, and I'm operating in a very compromised location. So I'm in just, you know, doing testing in my backyard as I have time um, on weekends and such. So, you know, there isn't a whole, a lot of, um, opportunity to pick out weak signals there isn't a whole lot of opportunity to pick out anything really other than um you know like the maritime net for example like i showed in the video because those guys are always running uh you know massive antennas antenna farms with you know a thousand watts or something like that um 
but I did pick up people running G90s on their car. Uh, you know, there was someone driving around, um, I think in Alabama, with a G90 and a mobile rig, and they were doing POTA, uh, making uh, POTA hunting contacts. Um, I heard a ton of POTA stations. Uh, I just couldn't break through the pileups. Now, given enough time, I'm confident I could have. I just didn't have the time to test it properly. But, um, but overall, yeah, this was a really fun build. And I look forward to taking it out into the field, actually on, on trips, um, and trying it out. I'm going to take this and my doublet with my X6100 um, and, and, and try it out. You know, it, different antennas for different situations or different tools, right? So uh, there's no perfect tool. Uh, it's all based on your environment and what you need out of it. So uh, yeah, this is, a, this is a great project. Really enjoyed it. And uh, hopefully I get to use it a bit more in the future. So uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. And 73, see you on the air.